Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really exciting video. I wanted to go over my five favorite menopause books because personally I love reading. I'm really into this stage of my life where I'm reading everything from self-help to parenting and definitely all things perimenopause and menopause. Now, certainly I have a scientific background in all of those things, but I love also reading books for lay women because I like to know what these books are telling you and also a lot of people do come to me asking what are my go-to books so today I want to go over my five favorite menopause books that I definitely think you should buy what I'm gonna do for each of these books is link it down in the description bar below so that if you want to click on that you can throw it in your cart and then you are good to go to keep you from a long intro I'm dr. Heather Hirsch I'm the clinical program director of the menopause and midlife clinic at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston Massachusetts and I see women on a consultative basis only. That means I just do menopause day in and day out. And by menopause, I also mean perimenopause, any other type of hormonal fluctuations like PMS or PMDD, postmenopausal care, sexual health, breast health, bone health, you sort of get the idea. I love doing what I do. It's such a wonderful field. And if you are a clinician watching these videos, let me know in the comments below if this has helped you and if you are considering maybe shifting your gear into midlife women's health. So without further ado, let's get into my top five favorite books. All right, the very first book is from my mentor. Her name is Dr. Holly Thacker, and she is the sort of menopause guru at the Cleveland Clinic. She wrote this book called The Cleveland Clinic Guide to Menopause. It is a really, really easy book to read. It is a little bit old. It's a couple years old, but it's such an easy read. I always say you could probably get this on the plane and you could go through it very quickly. Now, again, Dr. Thacker has taught me everything that I know about menopause, and so she is such a huge influence in my life and if I'm a huge influence in your life that also means Dr. Thacker is as well. I would definitely get this as a really great evidence-based starter guide on all things menopause. Now evidence-based means that the things that we are recommending are based and have roots in science and that is really important especially when we're talking about your safety and the choices that you're making for your body. Now I also want to plug she has a website called Speaking of Women's Health. This just happened to be in this book and it's a great website too for all things uh, evidence-based and it's just another great source of an online community for all things women's health. Now of course you can also head over to my website heatherhirschmd.com or my podcast and I will drop the link to that down in the description bar below but I would definitely definitely consider Dr. Thacker's book as very high in your list and actually I would actually start with this book. Okay the second book I want you to read if you are living under a rock you need to know about this book. It is Dr. Jen Gunter's book, The Menopause Manifesto. Now this just came out and you can actually see I got an advanced reader's copy, which is so cool. And I sat down and read this from cover to cover. What I really like about her book that's really cool and you know, again, that I learned, I, I'm always learning, but I know a lot of the basics about menopause and hormone therapy, but she really adds in such a layer of anthropology and history to women in menopause that I think is so fascinating. There's this whole chapter in here where she talks about the grandmother effect, which to me is so cool. And it's really how menopause is an evolutionary process that has helped to really help our species as a whole. And I found it so, 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 so interesting. Now, I actually did a whole interview with Dr. Gunter on my podcast, Women's Health by Heather Hirsch. I already told you I dropped the link for that down in the description bar below, and that's going to be coming out here in the month of June, so you are not going to want to miss it. Okay, the third book that I really love that I think you should read is called Menopocalypse, and this is by Amanda Thebe. She's a good friend of mine. We've never met in real life, but I think that we have because we've really become friends via Instagram, and I love love what she has done. Now, Amanda Thebe is not a menopause uh, physician or clinician, unlike Dr. Thacker, unlike Dr. Gunter, but that's what I like about this book. It's written from uh, a patient's perspective, a, a woman's perspective, your perspective, something that you certainly can definitely uh, feel the same emotions as she does, how she goes through the medical community. She tries to figure out 
what is going on with her and how she tries to sort of solve a lot of her own issues definitely has a lens of coming from someone who is and has been in the fitness industry and it's just so 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 wonderful Amanda is such a body positive person. This whole book is not about being super fit or eating this very specific thing. It's really about what works best for you. And that is a quality in someone who is talking to menopausal women that I really, really endorse and really, really like. And there is also in the back a lot of exercises and fitness tips and things like that as well, just to go and get you started. Now, I also did an interview with Amanda on my podcast. You already know where the link is, but it's really Really, really good because I do think that there is a different value in hearing a story from different people's perspectives. Oftentimes you get it maybe from mine as a clinician or maybe a menopause expert, but it's really nice to hear it from someone who is in the same shoes as you. I actually have several copies of her book in my office that she was kind enough to send me. And very often I give this book to my patients who are really, really struggling. So this is also a really great resource for your menopause collection that I definitely think that you should have. Okay, the fourth book that I've really been liking is called the New Hot by Meg Matthews. Now, she is in the UK, and as you guys all know, we I live here in the United States, and the UK is having just a wonderful revolution in really opening up the, the dialogue about menopause, breaking that taboo about women's health and beauty in midlife, and so I'm really excited to see what the UK is doing and hoping that we can bring that more here into the United States, and I know a lot of people, myself included, are really working on that. I like her book a lot, especially if you are, if you know who Meg Matthews is, is if you're from the UK and there's a lot of cute tips in here about beauty there's definitely some medical things in here as well again she's not a medical professional um, Louise Newson also a big menopause expert in the UK who's really really heading up such a revolution there wrote the foreword on it and I'm sure it was definitely read over by many experts but I love the tips and tricks in here and little stories and vignettes that she has about how she as sort of a celebrity and someone who was really cherished for their youthfulness has really navigated menopause so for all my UK folks and anyone here in the US this is a really great book also okay and the fifth book on my list is actually not really a book it's a textbook. I know you're probably not going to want to read this, but I'm going to show it to you because I really do think it's a great reference and resource, especially for a lot of you who are clinicians or other providers or healthcare workers in general, and you've been watching my channel and listening to my podcast, then I think this is going to be good for you. This is the Clinician's Guide to Menopause Practice, and it is created by NAMS. So NAMS is the North American Menopause Society. It is definitely a straight up textbook, but it is a great resource for any of you who are thinking about uh, incorporating more evidence-based menopause care into your practice or I also know many of you my viewers are so interested in the science you definitely you know send me comments like can you put the link to that article down in the description bar and you really want to know the science behind it maybe you're a chemist or maybe you're a pharmacist or you're a clinical psychologist you might even be a teacher it doesn't matter what you are. So many of you are interested in the science and how clinicians do make their decisions. And so if that is you, I would definitely pick up the clinician's guide to menopause. And also because, and something I've talked about on this channel is that clinicians don't get adequate training in menopause and perimenopause and midlife. And that's no secret. And I know that because you guys are all here on this channel and you're all searching for your own answers. And that's not necessarily your clinician's fault. I'm gonna go back and say this is a huge um, barrier of the educational system that's setting them up for failure. I don't wanna place the blame, the blame directly on them, but for many of you, it is up to you to push your clinicians or guide your clinicians on what really is evidence-based. And that's a lot of what I do here on this channel. So if you're interested in all that, definitely pick up this clinician's guide. Okay guys, that was just a little snippet of my five favorite menopause books that I absolutely think that you should have. Hmm, is it time for me to write a book? I don't know. More on that to come. Now, if you guys wanna learn more in the meantime, I do have a course, The Complete Guide to Menopause, which I created with 
with you in mind. And, and really because I get so many messages and DMs on, could you consult for me or can you see me and you might not live in my state or et cetera. And so I created this course as a way to be able to still provide you with valuable information. And actually you feel like you're sitting down with me for several hours learning everything about menopause and you're getting a bunch of PDFs and downloadables and tools to help you with your clinician. So if you wanna learn more, I would definitely check out my course to complete guide to menopause and there's a bunch of other mini courses in there as well if you just want to know a specific thing thank you guys so much for continuing to watch this channel and coming back every week for new videos it's really 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 you know the momentum here is making me feel as though this is such a wonderful community that we're building and if i can make an impact in the lives of women that i cannot see in my clinic that really is my goal so let me know drop me a message in the comment below what's the first book that you want to get have you read any of these books are there other books that you did like and don't forget i'm going to link all of these books in the description bar below on my amazon store so you can pick them up there really easily thanks guys and i'll see you next week for another video.